So electrical engineering is not for everyone. Engineering as a whole is not for everyone. And that's why in this channel, you'll see me talk a lot about self-awareness and why that is very important because I want you to get to a point where you realize, is this even what I want? And a while back, I made a video comparing electrical engineering and computer science, and I argued that electrical engineering is a better option, assuming you want to have a broader understanding of technology and wanting to keep your options open career-wise. And the main comments I get on that video is, oh, but like you can make more money as a software engineer, or you could get a job more easily as a software engineer. And and statistically, that's probably true. But this is again, where the self awareness is important, you have to be honest with yourself. Like there's two types of people, there's people who just want to get a job and like get a high salary and then just like, that's it. They don't really care about the work that they do. But then there's people who actually want to do something that they find fun and enjoyable. And I want to give this disclaimer, because I definitely fall into category two, where for me, if the work I do is not enjoyable, and it's not at least interesting, it's very hard for me to do the work. You know, the biggest cause of procrastination very often is that you don't want to do the work because you don't like it. And while like, I do think software is important, and I like software, I don't like it enough to want to do it eight hours a day every day for the next few years. Instead, what I do enjoy is thinking about electromagnetic physics and thinking about solving problems using electric engineering and using electrical engineering software to run simulations and just think about how things in theory compared to the real world and just like more visuals and imagination to me that really excites me and i will do that any day i'll pick that over software engineering or computer science any day because it's just more exciting and it's more fun now don't get me wrong if you're in a stage in life where let's say i don't know you're married you have kids and you have a wife and you have to like support your family obviously you might think a little bit differently about these things and want to go for like higher paying job that fulfills your needs or whatever. But if you're still like at a stage in life where you can take risk or you can pursue the things that you enjoy and you're not like under like urgent pressure to like make a lot of money for any reason, I think like any type of engineering or STEM career will get you a good enough salary. So the incremental improvement that you might get in software, you have to be honest with yourself about whether that's worth it and whether it's worth doing. And I use software as a vague example. It could be anything else. It could be other types of engineering. It could be business. It could be, I don't know, anything that where you could see yourself making more money, you have to have the self awareness to ask yourself, why am I doing this? What is the goal of me doing this? And if you don't know, that's okay. But at least you know, you have an anchor, like you have some type of thought process in the back of your mind, where hopefully what you're optimizing for is doing something that's fulfilling and that you enjoy, and then you could probably make a lot of money doing. And generally, for me, what I have noticed is it's usually a feeling thing. Like when I weigh my options, I usually go with the one that feels more right. But again, that level of like following your intuition comes from self awareness. And it comes from this type of thinking. So as much as I love electrical engineering, I know it's not for everyone. If you don't find electromagnetic physics interesting, it's gonna be very hard. If you don't find uh, circuits, or if you just don't think the technology itself is super cool, it may be, it may, like if you find software way more interesting, or if you find, I don't know, mechanical structures way more interesting, that's kind of a very clear signal that you may be interested in exploring these things. Now, sometimes your brain may play a trick on you where you actually enjoy the thing long term, but in the short term, like you have a rough exam or you you just hate it for a little bit. And for that, you should not switch your major totally. You could probably like take classes from other majors or just go sit on other classes from other majors and see what people are doing there. And that way you can get a quick taste of what other people are doing without destroying your boat and all the progress you have made. Now, if you're curious about my electrical engineering computer science video, it should be somewhere over here. I actually urge you to watch it so you understand what we're talking about. Peace, love.